of student life, our intelligence or knowledge has been tried to be measured through standardized testing. Some people argue that these tests benefit the students academically, but others also say that these tests are useless and take too much time out of a student's learning process. However, in the end, the majority of people think it's not worth having it around. I am uh, not in favor of standardized testing. I think it does students a major disservice. I think um, when you have standardized tests that are graded by machines, the um, whole thing is that um, how fast can you get out the answers? It doesn't imply thought processes. And standardized testing to me is, is not created by the teacher who stands in front of the student. Therefore, to me, it's not a fair representation of what the student has learned in the teacher's class. I think it's a waste of time. Um, I think generally because there's no need to really take it seriously. And I'm not quite sure that the students really know what exactly is being tested. Um, and so quite frankly, I know when I was a kid, even taking standardized testing, it's like, I didn't care if I got the answer right or wrong. Um, and so sometimes if I was in the mood to see, I'd get in races with people to see how fast we could do it. And so sometimes just do it really quickly. Um, in fact, with overall, because standardized testing is typically, I'm assuming you mean like with A, B, C, multiple guess or multiple choice. Um, I just think generally it's a waste of time and I don't think it's an accurate way to really be able to assess any or test any true knowledge. I feel standardized testing is almost a waste of time, but I understand that there's not very many other good ways to test students, but I think that there, we're all so diverse as human beings that standardized isn't the right way to go. I feel that standardized testing um, can be good for like a student's learning, but then it can also like be bad because it starts stressing them out and they don't pay attention to the actual classwork. It depends on the standardized test. If it's something more, I feel that sometimes it's unnecessary. Other times it's kind of necessary to show where you're at in the in the subject of of target or the target subject. So. It depends really on the situation whether or not it's just out of the blue or you've been working on it and you know it's coming up. I feel that we as a nation tend to focus too much on standardized testing. Um, it, it, it kind of drowns out in, in um, our creativity. Um, when all we can do is just, you know, trying to get these um, kids to just, you know, get a good grade on the test. In our school, these standardized tests are supposed to be what measure our intelligence. But they do not necessarily prove our knowledge level because students are different in showing the performance of intelligence at school. In the article, Do Standardized Tests Show an Accurate View of Students' Abilities? It talks about how many students do not take the test seriously and how that could reflect badly on their supposed intelligence. Sometimes there's people forget terms or forget, forget um, formulas or stuff like that. They, it doesn't really measure your intelligence to the full extent because people can be smarter than, than what they show on a standardized test. There, there might it measure some of the knowledge base, but even then, sometimes I don't think it, they can accurately assess it very well. And you can see that because a lot of times the students do pretty well in the testing, but when it comes to actual knowledge, um, the knowledge isn't there. And so I don't even think it does a very good job of testing knowledge either. Um, in a sense, I think it me measures your academic understanding, but the actual intelligence of the person is not measured. It can measure our intelligence by saying what we know, but then most students um, freak out during a test and forget it. Just because one test is given to you and you might do bad on it. And, and measuring for intelligence is more, there's different types of intelligences and different types of uh, wisdom. And I just think that uh, it's more Somebody's just trying to get a quick fix for for a problem, and rather tr than truly solving some of the educational problems we have, 
they just mandated legislate a, another test, and I think they're pretty much useless. These tests definitely have an impact on students through stress and by causing them to veer off the normal curriculum that actually have them learn something. Students are becoming so stressed because of the high standards associated with these tests. In 2001, George W. Bush proposed the No Child Left Behind Act. This law allowed schools to receive money if their students performed well on the standardized tests, which increased the pressure inflicted on the students. Um, the impact is not very great, but it's more like it puts a lot of strain on the mind when you know it's coming up and you're trying to cram for it or study for it or stressing over it. Um, the impact that it gives on many students is stress because they study all night and then they don't work as hard during the day. Many people were asked if standardized testing helps students, parents, and teachers. Not surprisingly, the majority of them believed that it was irrelevant and did not prove anything or help anyone. It doesn't help anybody. It's just a waste of time, you know, it's just a number. People start to be thinking, you know, I'm stupid. I'm not worth anything. And you know, sometimes that's true. Sometimes that's true. Sometimes these kids, and they're up, up there, there's nothing, you know? And there's never going to be, you know? I'm just telling the truth. I don't think it helps parents at all. Um, I, you know, a lot of times, you know, I, I don't think it helps the parents at all. It, we don't see the test. We don't really know what it is. I, I don't really think it helps the students at all. They can say it does a certain type of measuring, but um, I think generally it actually hurts the students more because it takes away from actual learning time. And there's so many standardized tests now that have been legislated that are required and for students to take that. We end up wasting sometimes, I'm guessing, several weeks of learning time to take a test that someone says they have to take to measure something that no one really cares about or really knows about. Um, particularly, I think that, that there's a mixed goals of what people want to do. You know, I just think, like, we sh if, someone's, if someone's dumb, we shouldn't, like, flat out tell them, you know, we can have them figure it out on their own, you know, natural selection. And all. I don't even really think we should be living in this kind of civilization. I think men were designed to live in forests and caves. There is another negative aspect of standardized testing. Not all students learn the same way. Howard Gardner, an American psychologist, was one of the first people to suggest the idea of there being multiple intelligences, rather than just one central intelligence. Some students learn by, like, ex like actually hands-on. Some students learn by hearing the lesson, or some students learn by watching the lesson. And I think every student um, learns material a different way, like some people hear it once, don't have to write it down, other people have to hear it multiple times, and other people have to write it down. I had to write everything down when I was a student. Standardized tests, um, the problem with standardized tests is there's one way to answer a question, and a lot of people's brains work like, well, I, they can see multiple answers to the same question. That is the one thing I, I can't stand. Um, <laughs> I, about IQ tests, I, 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 I don't like the idea of IQ tests or, you know, and standardized testing follows along this same mindset um, that we think, you know, we can measure kids' intelligences or, um, or anybody's intelligence by getting them to answer a bunch of questions. But what I've seen uh, throughout my experience is that people are, you know, really, people can be really intelligent in lots of different kinds of ways. Um, and I don't think we can really say we can accurately measure that intelligence. I think the best way to teach a kid how to swim isn't just, you know, saying, you know, do the stroke like this. You know, that's the pansy way to teach. You know, I think the best way to teach a kid, throw them in a pool full of sharks, you know. They're going to have to learn. Their life is on the line. And, you know, those who don't learn, they're just, you know, they're, they're just teaching everyone else what not to do. You know, they're, they're increasing the gene pool. That's why I think standardized testing is a bunch of crap. You know, I, I think every, there's tons of different ways for kids to learn. Some people do it. Some people learn by musical talents, visual talents, verbal talents. It differs upon the person whether or not they learn via visual, visually or verbally. 
there are certain kinds of intelligences I, I think we can definitely um, measure with standardized testing. Um, like being able to being able to memorize things well. It's very interesting that we are now asking schools to be based on a business model, but businesses um, are for profit. I think schools should be for everyone. Standardized testing is not good for the students or anyone involved with it. It's expensive to the school, stresses out the students, and makes the parents want to hurt things. Standardized testing is just a bad idea in general and should be set on fire just like the rest of our problems.